Hello, Internet! This is Bacon Zack, and as you might have noticed, I'm talking English right now. Yep, this is something new. Uh, normally, all my videos are in German, which is my native language. But for this particular video, I thought it might be better to do it in English, just for um, getting a bigger audience, really. So, as you might know, later this year, in September, uh, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is coming out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And um, if you're a fan of the franchise, then you probably know Hideo Kojima, who is the producer of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. And Hideo Kojima likes to play some little games with his fans. A few days ago, YouTube user Young Yeah, who's doing a great job, by the way, um, exploring the lore of the Metal Gear Solid franchise and putting together theory videos about Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that, um, he uploaded a video regarding an real-life surgeon who looks incredibly, incredibly like um, the doctor in the upcoming Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. So this is a great video and my video here is supposed to be a little bit of a uh, follow-up video to his. So if you haven't watched it yet, go to his channel and uh, watch this video. I will put it in the video description below if you haven't seen it. So after watching the video of Yong Ye regarding the uh, real-life surgeon, I uh, got myself the uh, official book of that surgeon, Dr. Sergio Canavero, and I read through it. And I can tell you, there's a lot fishy stuff going in there. Okay guys, the first thing which caught my attention was the weird text formatting. Please have a look at this page for example, and tell me what is wrong in here. As you might have noticed, the sentences are scattered all over the lower page. On top of that, they are not even full sentences to begin with. They have more of a monologue style to them. Still, we can do better. Enter Gemini. Welcome to Haven. That would be totally okay in some kind of novel, but this is supposed to be a sincere book about surgery. You definitely wouldn't expect that kind of structure in your high school or college books, right? So this theatrical style of writing is really weird. But there's more to the strange text formatting. Another thing you might have noticed is that there are no page numbers. I'm not kidding you, this book has not a single page number. Which kind of book with educational value has no page numbers? Another thing which seems off are the illustrations in the doctor's book. They are in general of really low quality and they take up a whole page. I'm no expert when it comes to books treating medical topics, but is this normal? If so, please tell me in the comments below, but either way, I thought that was pretty weird too. All of this is something I would not expect of someone with a doctor's degree, a surgeon even. The fact that this book is so poorly formatted caught my attention because this can only mean two things. Dr. Canavero really is one hell of a sloppy writer, or this actually is supposed to be a hoax. Okay, the next strange thing are the chapters. As Yong Ye already mentioned in his video, there are chapters called the Big Chill, which sounds like the Big Shell from Metal Gear Solid 2, or Gemini, which can be translated to Twins. Now, if we look at the index of the book, there is another thing which should catch your attention. That's right, there are only three chapters with exclamation marks at the end. When you think about the Metal Gear Solid franchise, you should be really familiar with the exclamation marks. In each game it indicates that you have been spotted by the enemy. Could this be an attempt to focus our attention to those three chapters? The chapters are The Impossible, Gemini, Clone. So in other words, The Impossible Twin Clone. Now where have I heard this one before? Les Enfants Terribles, The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. 
Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. Now this is really good, right? Les Enfants Terribles, Liquid and Solid Snake. I think this is a direct reference to them. On top of that, there is a big chance that Liquid is in Metal Gear Solid 5. Okay, let's move on to the next part. I would also like to point out some of the quotes Dr. Canaveral used in his book. Let me read some of them to you. What's past is prologue. Could this be a hint to Metal Gear Solid 5 story? I mean, Metal Gear Solid 5 is supposed to be the prologue to the whole Metal Gear franchise and it could kick off a remake to Metal Gear 1 and 2. Here's another quote Dr. Canavero chose. These philosophers have indeed performed miracles. They ascend into the havens. They have acquired new and almost unlimited powers. Holy, I don't even... I mean, come on! How could you read this quote and not be reminded of Metal Gear Solid? The philosophers who do send into havens with unlimited power? There is just one thing I'm going to say to this. la li lu le lo Last but not least, there's a really interesting passage in the Doctor's book regarding the aftermath of his haven process. Let me read this one to you as well. The same reasoning applies to Haven, where a full body is anastomosed. In order to make the process more reliable, Haven will exploit immersive virtual reality IVR, over the months of following the actual surgery, so that the subject can grow used to the new body. Hypnosis will also be brought to bear on the process. VR training? VR training is a big concept in the world of Metal Gear Solid. I mean, just think about Metal Gear Solid 2's Raiden. And what about the hypnosis he talks about? We know for sure that little Psycho Mantis is in MGS5 and that big boss sees supernatural things. Probably because of Psycho Mantis. Guys, this is really strong evidence towards the head transplantation theory on Grey Fox and Big Boss. Could it be that Ishmael, the guy with the bandages, got a head transplant? Could it be he exchanged heads with Big Boss? Could it be this is the reason for Big Boss being on pills or narcotics? Could it be that Psycho Mantis hypnotized Big Boss for some kind of rehab after the surgery? Maybe his head needs to adjust to the new body and Psycho Mantis is showing him his old enemies to trigger memories of movements and techniques he used to defeat those enemies in the past? I don't know about you, but this one got me really excited. So there you have it folks, those were my uh, thoughts about this whole meta about Dr. Sergio Canavero. Um, do I think Mr. Kojima is involved in all of this? I'm not sure, really, I don't know. Uh, but you, you really have to admit that if all of those uh, things are coincidences, then they are really good ones. Another question would be, do I think Mr. Kojima is capable of doing such a thing? Like, on this scale, really? If Mr. Kojima really decides to do such a thing, I think he would be uh, able to do it, really. Um, he has the money, he has the uh, infrastructure, he knows certain people around the world, and I totally think he would be able to pull this one off. And we know he was really crazy in the past when it comes to stuff like this. So, who knows? I think uh, we will find out in September. There you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you happen to speak German, then I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, maybe you like some of my other videos as well, even though they're really goofy. Um, but hey, maybe you find something you like. Um, Again, thank you very much and until next time!